how's your day today? It's nice. It's nice? Yeah. So now we have to switch to English because we're actually working. Okay. Dear audience, t my today's guest, Vladislav Stelmach, is a member of high school boys basketball team. Okay. So tell me about uh, the game on Friday. I think it was on last Friday when you had a fight during the game and then you we celebrated your birthday, right? Yeah. So Th thanks for inviting, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, um, we played an away game. It was our first away game. And uh, the team was pretty good. They were probably the best team we played this year. Um, they brought, they started the game with a lot of energy. And uh, we just weren't ready for that. Our defense struggled. And we struggled on the defensive end. Uh, that's why we lost that game mainly. Um, but overall, the game was very nice. We learned a lot of it, a lot of mistakes. And we're working on them to fix them by CISA and to do better on CISA. And after that, our team we went to the center to celebrate my birthday. Uh, my birthday was on Monday of that week and we went on Friday and we celebrated as a team and it was nice. And during you celebrated your birthday, did you discuss like the mistakes that you did in the game or you just you switched you switched gears yeah? yeah yeah okay that's nice okay Vlad how long are you on the team and how long are you a part of starting five in particular well I am on the varsity team since freshman year oh. and uh, on the freshman year I spent all the year on the bench but uh, starting from my sophomore year I became a starter and I play basketball since 11 year olds, so it's uh, six years. Mm -hmm. And do you take any other sports aside basketball? Well, I tried volleyball for two years and um, I also used to do swimming. Mm -hmm. So, and do you do any workout or like do you work on your. Yeah, off season when there's no basketball season. I usually spend my evenings in the gym mm -hmm. and work out and do cardio and everything. Okay. And what, what other interests do you have in general aside basketball? Aside basketball? Well, um, not that many actually. I used to play games before on my computer, but then when I came to high school, I stopped doing that. So now it's mainly school and basketball. Also, I like spend time with family, friends. That's what everyone does, I think. Yeah. Would you name yourself an organized person? Yes. Nice. Yes. So I'm very organized. Um, my computer, all the files and the folders, everything. My room is clean. Mm -hmm. I don't like mess. And you came, you're coming on trainings on time, yes. like always. Yes. Nice. How do you do that? Well, I just, um, no, I have a habit of coming to events earlier than later. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel better when they come earlier and I just wait for everyone. So I used, like, I usually come to morning practices, which we have every Tuesday, I come earlier than seven. And I just like warm up, I just spend some time with myself, like warming up, uh, doing stretching, different exercises. Mm -hmm. And since you're like so much into basketball, are you planning to continue playing after you graduate from, from high school or you just will make a pause there? Well, you know, I had an idea of playing at the college, but once again, uh, it's not very easy to get to a college team. If I'll have a chance, if they'll like take me, yeah, then yes, of course. But if I like, no, I wouldn't even like try. And do you have any, any ideas where you're actually planning to go? Yes, uh, to Canada or States. Vancouver. Yes. Uh, I heard some rumors of it. I'm going to Vancouver next year also, but Apparently, I will study there for one year and then we will not meet there anyway, so... <laughs> Unfortunately. But, um, have you applied somewhere already or no? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm a secondary three student and I still have... Doesn't matter, so... Yeah, some of them apply in the sophomore years. <laughs> yeah. Um, which I don't understand why, but... Just waiting for next year, and then I'll see how the things will go. Maybe I'll change my... Um, opinion and I'll go somewhere else, maybe Europe, maybe somewhere else. And now what's your area of interest? 
What what job you want to get? Job, I want to do urban planning, architecture, mm -hmm. design. I'm just in that. That sounds very as a very interesting job. Are you actually planning to study abroad and uh, work there after, or are you planning to come to Ukraine after that? Because uh, as I know, in <coughs> in our days in Ukraine, there's not no such job as urbanist. Maybe you want to push this idea well, forward that there should be. It really depends because Ukraine is not in the best position right now. If by the time I'll finish education, it will become better and the country will be stabilized and actually you can make a business here, I'll consider coming back. But for now, I'm planning to stay on there. Yeah. Well, the reason why I'm asking you is that obviously you're not, not a member of a poor class, so you actually have an opportunity to, to change something. So the, were you thinking about it or you just want to work there? No, I, I thought about coming back and changing country for the better. But once again, if we have corruption in government, if our government is uh, lacking legitimacy, like there will be no, just no, no need to come back because nothing will change. Well, the president election is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Do you think that there's any good candidates at all? I don't know. I'm not really into politics, yeah. even though I'm doing AP government and politics. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not really interested in Ukrainian politics because our politics is a mess. So I don't really look into them. But that mo what uh, what it makes it interesting to study, you know? It's like yeah. <laughs> so ma so much subtext in our politics. That's true. I'm moving right past that. Do you consider yourself as more talented or hardworking in terms of playing basketball? Hardworking, because I, when I used to be younger, and actually still now, I used to come on weekends, play basketball, I used to always practice. I always spend my free time practicing basketball. And uh, when I came to high school, it changed a little bit because of my education it's getting harder so i have to spend more time on homework but uh, before that i always used to spend time in the basketball gym with my friends with dima with andre and we always like practiced we always had like scrimmages games and it was always practicing yeah and you know that there is a broad opinion that the success is made out of basically hard working and talent what do you uh, think in percentage you know what percentage does talent take and what percentage does hard work take? I think it's uh, it really depends on the person. Mm -hmm. For some people, they might be talented from the birth and uh, practice very little but still be one of the best players. And for some people, they might be just practicing really hard all their lives mm -hmm. and then they will achieve what they wanted to. Okay. I, I've been talking to many guys already, by the way, uh, this is the last interview that I take in the set, which makes me really sad because like from the first point of view, it's finally over, so we don't have more videos to edit because it's just a nightmare to edit all those videos. But actually, I like to talk with people like I'm doing right now. And uh, a lot of people said on your team, and Mr. Semenyuk mentioned it as well, that you don't have a nominated captain. However, like I asked Dima, I asked Pietro, I think Paul uh, had an answer to that, that even, there, even though there's no nominated captain, but they consider Bo and Gio as their leaders on the pitch. Uh, do you think that this system should change, that there should be a nominated captain maybe next season? And are you looking forward to becoming a leader on the pitch? I think that everyone is a big part of the team and that everyone deserves to be a captain. So I, in my personal opinion is that there should be no assigned captain mm -hmm. and everyone has to be a leader of the team. That's how the team will function better and that's how it does well. But don't you think if everyone will be like a super uh, leader, maybe like the team will go a bit apart because everyone wants to shine in the fame <laughs> well i know what you're talking about but basketball is a mainly a team sport 
it's a team sport and uh, so you have to know every a good basketball player has to understand that by himself he won't achieve anything there has to be a team they all have to work together in order to achieve something by the way i just noticed that all during all the interview i was saying pitch but it's court like the area where you play it's called court yeah, it's cool. stupid okay <coughs> so now you have uh, this camera that you can talk to so what <coughs> would what would you say to your teammates and you to your coaches before upcoming CISA, which will happen in a month um we've come a long way from the beginning of the year uh we started playing better offense better defense we started working better as a team and I'm honestly really excited for this year's CISA for next year. And I think we can, if we work together and if we do our best, we can win. And that's what we'll do. Uh, uh, this was Vlad Stelmach, a member of high school boys basketball team. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Thank you for the interview. <laughs>